we are going to talk about uh, God's uh, touch, just one touch. Uh, we notice that every time uh, that Jesus was moved with compassion and he touched people, and whenever he touched somebody, something happened in their lives, just one touch touch and something happened. We also notice in the Gospels that sometimes people came to Jesus in faith and touched him. And just one touch in faith changed something in their lives. Uh, we read this about a leper, his body ravaged by leprosy, an outcast. Nobody wants to come near him. But here somehow, you know, he sees all this big crowd around Jesus and, and Jesus finished the Sermon on the Mount and he's coming down the, the hillside and somehow this leper gets to close enough to Jesus to say this to Jesus. He says, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. And this is what happens in Mark chapter 1, verse 41. The Bible says, Jesus moved with with compassion, stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I am willing to be cleansed. And the Bible says he was cleansed immediately. In, in, in Matthew chapter 8, uh, he finds out that Peter's mother-in-law was sick of a fever and she's laid down there. And the Bible tells us here in Matthew 8 verse 15, he touched her hand and the fever left her and she arose and served them. You know, there were two blind men in Matthew chapter 9, verses 29 and 30. They heard about Jesus and, and uh, I'm assuming somebody was helping them move around and, uh, you know, they said, hey, Jesus is passing by. Shout! Shout! Jesus passing by. And so here were these two blind men and they began to cry out. The Bible says, Son of David, have mercy on us. And here's what the Bible records in Matthew 9, 29. It says, He touched their eyes saying, according to your faith, let it be to you. And their eyes were opened. So there Jesus touched them, but he was touching them, connecting with them at their point of faith. When our faith connects with his compassion, something happens. We read about many other instances where Jesus touched people and things happened. But we also see, as I mentioned, the other side, when people came to Jesus and touched Jesus. And so we read about this in Matthew chapter 9, verses 20 and 21. It says, a woman who had a flow of blood for 12 years came from behind and touched the hem of his garment. For she said to herself, if only I may touch the garment, I shall be made well. Jesus turned around. When he saw her, he said, be of good cheer, daughter. Your faith has made you well. Her faith, her touch, and she was made well. In Matthew chapter 14, verses 35 and 36, we say, it tells us about great crowds of people. It says, when the men of that place recognized him, they sent out into all the surrounding region, brought to him all who were sick, and begged him that they might only touch the hem of his garment, and as many as touched it were made perfectly well. Now, what if you were in that crowd? What would you have done? Would you have stood there and said, hmm, maybe it's for them, not for me? Or would you have stood there and said, you know, theologically, reason yourself out of this? No, I'm sure that if you were in the crowd, you'd have done what the crowd was doing. You'd have gone with that same faith and you would have said, if I will only touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. And it says here, as many as touched it were made perfectly well. The same thing is true today. As many or everyone who touches Jesus will be made well. The beautiful thing is this, that Jesus even allowed sinners to touch him. You know, even sinners can touch Jesus in faith. And I want to encourage you. It doesn't matter what kind of a life you've lived today as we bring this message to you, as Jesus Christ is waiting and is full of compassion, your faith can bring healing into your life. Your faith can cause something to change. Jesus allows sinners to reach out to him in faith. And a miracle can take, takes place when his goodness and our faith connect. <laughs>